and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar and we're going to continue with the strip down of this Audi 2.7 twin turbo donor car <sighs> like the new haircut thought I'd take it all the way down uh, well, I was thinking about pushing this car out just a little, so I've got a bit of space between my bench and the front of the car, because it's a bit tight in this single garage, but it's also really cold today, and I live in the UK, so we don't really have much sort of summer heat or sun over here, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and uh, make do with the tight space. Far too cold for that. <laughs> well, it's way too cold to leave that door open. So I'm just going to make do with this tiny little bit of space I've got here. So let's get to work and pull out these pedals from this donor car. Right. Well, with the dashboard blower unit and the brace bar gone, we can now get to the uh, pedal box or pedal assembly. This is going to be a lot easier to remove than if the uh, dashboard was in place. So let's just take a closer look at this lot. We have the clutch pedal, brake pedal and the accelerator. Now as you can see the accelerator or gas pedal for you Americans is electronic. So that's sort of good news because it means I don't have to make a custom cable for the prototype supercar. We've got this uh, aluminium casting here, a couple of switches, one for the brake, one for the clutch. And if we go along around the back, this is the brake servo sort of um, shaft mechanism. So I think I'll have to undo these and hopefully the servo should be able to be removed from the bulkhead. But before we do that, I think we need to take a few measurements of these pedals. Now pedals are very important in any supercar and if you're building your own, you really do need to pay attention to these pedals and you've got to get the spacing right. I mean... <sighs> You've got to make sure that your feet are comfortable on the pedals and you can actually use them and drive the car. Let me show you. Hmm, I think I might need a shoe. Here's a shoe. Now, maybe you can make that out on the, the camera. Hopefully, I'll probably bring another camera in in a sec. But what you want is the pedal to be on this part of the shoe here, nice and comfortable. Just check your own car, you know, your own daily driver, you'll see what I mean. So before I remove these pedals, I just want to take some measurements here. Now, if you've been following along, um, you'll know that what I've done in the prototype supercar is I have basically raised the floor and then lowered the roof to get my supercar sleek look. Now that means that these pedals are going to lose some height around here which isn't good. Anyway I'm getting ahead of myself, we'll do that in a prototype episode and we'll go over pedals later on. So for now I'm just going to get these measured up just so that I know what I'm dealing with. So if we take a closer look at the pedals, there's the shoe and that is where the pedal needs to be. So let's just take a few measurements. From the floor to the bottom of the brake pedal is about 13 centimeters. The clutch is about 14 centimeters and the accelerator is about 
10. Now these pedals have seen some serious action. I mean this car thinks done 220,000 miles. And I'm pretty sure that the clutch pedal and the brake pedal are pretty should be sort of level. But the brake pedal on here is a little bit down. Yeah, I don't know, it, it could be design, it, maybe that's the way it is. Um, but when you're building your own supercar, you can set up your own pedals to however you feel comfortable. Now one thing you're going to get right is the spacing between the pedals. Which I think the minimum needs to be 5 centimeters, and the clutch and the brake pedal is about just under 6. It's about 5.5, five and a half, five and a bit say, I don't know, 58 millimeters. And if we take a look at the gas pedal, the accelerator pedal, and the brake pedal, it's about six centimeters. Like I say, I think the minimum is five. And in the UK, I think the IVA requirement is no more than five. It'll fail the, the IVA test. So anyway, we've took those measurements, and now it's time to pull these pedals out. Right, I'll just undo this locking nut. the bolts that hold the servo onto the bulkhead. I did that a while back because I, I wanted to get um, to the strut base in here and remove that. So this servo is all nice and loose. I'll just bring the camera in so you can have a closer look. So this servo is already nice and loose. There's one bolt there. And the other one is just tucked underneath about there. So those bolts are already loosened off, so hopefully this servo should just pull out. With the servo removed, I can now get to the clutch line, which is here, and then goes off into the bulkhead somewhere there. But um, there's another hose here. Not entirely sure what that one is. It uh, goes down to there somewhere. It might be have, might have something to do with the ABS or something. But uh, we'll figure that out when I pull the engine out. So anyway, let's just remove this clutch line here.
there's a bolt that just needs to be undone. This uh, pedal assembly can get yanked out. Yeah, I think that clutch line is causing me a bit of problems. It's, I think it's seized in there. Come on! No! Oh, got it! There it is, one pedal box assembly. Ooh. Right, let's take a look underneath the bulkhead here. So that's what it looks like with the uh, pedal assembly removed. Ooh, it is cold, I think you can see my breath on the camera. <laughs> Right, I think while I've got my spanners out, I'm going to remove these brackets here. There's one there, and one over there, and this is where the dashboard brace bar bolts to. Now, this is a good bit of this Audi donor car. This is actually what I was hoping for when I designed my prototype chassis, is these brackets are removable, they're not welded, to the monocoque chassis of the donor car. So, thumbs up Audi. These are good. 13 mil. but it's also adding a few as well. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, great. Great fluid everywhere. Anyway, this, um, this, this episode took a little bit less time than I thought. Uh, I don't want any of you lads out there saying I'm putting out videos that are too short, so I better put in some filler for you. I'm sure there's some ladettes out there that feel a bit gypped that uh, 
they've not had some filler, so here's some filler for you. What, you're calling foul? That's not fair. Okay, okay. I'm a fair guy, so here you go, ladettes. Okay, everyone happy? Hopefully this video is not too short and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.